hiya and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing my may favorites i'm going to be showing you the products that i've just used and some of the favorites i've had this month so stay tuned so to achieve this makeup look, i first started off using my favorite moisturizer which is the lush enzymion facial moisturizer and then i use the enchanted eye cream just to kind of really like allow my makeup to really set on my face because I find that if I will do makeup just straight onto just like my face as soon as I've washed it, it won't stay as well. And this just leaves my skin feeling a lot nicer and a lot fresher. I've been using this since about Christmas as I had a gift factory which I used. And it is just insane. I absolutely love it. I hate like sticky facial moisturisers but that one really just dries matte. These ones are perfect for that. My favourite go-to powder of all time is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. For this, I just literally just use that on my face as a base. I'm not keen on wearing foundation all the time and that one is just a nice kind of setting. For my contour, I use the I Heart Revolution, the Summer of Love. It is a gorgeous, beautiful bronzer with lovely glittery bits in it and it it's just really, really flattering on. For my highlight, I've been using the Goddess of Love. Please excuse it, it is a little messy right now. And I've nearly reached the pan. And it just leaves a gorgeous, like, glimmery glow. And then I also mixed in the Unicorn's Heart highlight, which is stunning. My go-to palettes at the moment are the Lorac Beginners Collection, which has some absolutely stunning colours. I believe I actually had this in my Christmas video, where I was just like, this is my new favourite palette. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I use the orange and the yellows for most. I haven't got the confidence to use the blues and the greens just yet. Mascara, I am really picky with mascara. My eyelashes are really long just naturally, so I need to find one that really kind of complements my eyelashes. So the one I have been using is the Rimmel Volume Mascara. I know they release loads of mascaras all of the time, and I, I don't think you can go wrong with Rimmel. Going into more of a hair care kind of thing, my hair, because I've dyed it, I dyed it so much when I was younger, then I kind of start to fresh, cut all my hair off, and this has been only a couple years of growth. My hair length at the moment is really quite long. So in order to allow my hair to grow longer and to maintain the condition of my hair, I have been using the L'Oreal Paris Alavine dream length shampoo as well as the conditioner the detangling conditioner and the dream length savior mask i've only been using this over the past couple of weeks and it just leaves my hair feeling lush really fresh and the conditioner is really helpful i find because i don't like to dry my hair with a hair dryer i like to leave that use that conditioner so when i wake up in the morning my hair is normally always in knots but using that conditioner it is just so silky I used the mask last night and it, my hair just feels so soft. As you can probably tell by this point, hair care products are a big must for me. The What I can recommend for you entirely if you're trying to grow your hair and it just takes so long for you to grow it is the Lee Stafford Hair Growth Mask. It literally says on here, treatment for a hair that never grows past a certain length. I've been using this for probably about a year now and without this I don't think my hair would be as long as it is now. It literally, I don't, it smells absolutely amazing and it really just leaves my hair in really nice condition and I love it. Love it to bits. As well as that I have been using the leave-in treatment which is like a spray in and then you kind of leave it overnight. Not only does this stuff smell amazing, it really does actually work. I like to straighten my hair every now and again, and in order for me to do that and not completely fry my hair, I've been using the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray with a UV filter. This stuff is amazing. I've got to say, out of all these products, they smell insane. Smell and scent is a massive thing for me when I'm buying hair care, and this one really does, it's like a little mist that you put on your hair before you straighten it, and it's meant to protect it and I do actually agree that it works. Each time I dye my hair, there is one brand that I will all go, always go back and use, and it is the, I cannot pronounce it, it's this one, and it's the live one, and this is the best black hair dye that I've come across. It lasts for a long time, it stays like a really nice shiny black color, and it just 
is a lush shampoo and it doesn't completely fry your hair it leaves your hair feeling quite nice and soft in the end and i'm actually going to do this in a couple of days a little cute body butter which says is strawberry and it says get fruity body butter and that is it's insane it smells lush and leaves my skin feeling absolutely amazing if you've watched my last video you would have seen that me and zoe did these really cute boxes and these are my ultimate favourites at the moment. Love, love, love. So thank you, Zoe. I confess, I'm a slight hoarder. I say a slight hoarder. I'm literally just going to show you my little shower gel collection. I love shower gels. I love the scent of them. And my favourite brand for shower gels is Imperial Leather. I thought actually at one point I thought it was Imperial Leather. Yes. This one is my ultimate all-time favourite. This was my ultimate all-time favourite and it is the wild thing one. It's just so fruity and very summery. Packaging is really, really adorable. This is the Cotton Clouds, Uncle Rainforest, Marshmallow, Moroccan Sunset, Hello Amazing, which look how cute. This packaging is just adorable. A few more slightly different things that I've been loving at the moment. Nectarines. I literally have not bought nectarines for so long but they are my ultimate all-time favourite fruit, other than pineapple. Tortilla crisps. Anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, and I hope you like and are inspired to try some of these things. All of these products, I would totally recommend. I use them on a daily basis. And, yeah. So, I will see you in a bit for another video. Bye. This one is my ultimate all-time favourite.